The Seven Years' War was a conflict of European nations fighting over how they wanted to chop up control of the world. No one was happy the way they chopped up the world last time, so arch nemesis France and England assembled a crew of nations, colonies, tribes, and allies each, and they did battle across the globe in what is often referred to as the real first world war. It was the deadliest of wars of the 1700s, costing the lives of well over a million people. On the European front, Prussia and Austria battled back and forth over territory, but as a whole, not many borders were changed. England ordered the raid of French coastlines, none of them being an over-the-top success. In response, France assembled a massive fleet of ships for an invasion of England, but was easily defeated. After years of fighting, war fatigue set in in most countries involved, and peace talks began. The American theater of the war is called the French Indian War. France, England, and Spain had divided up North America between the three, doing their very best to disregard the millions of natives already living on the continent. England controlled the eastern seaboard, and France controlled the inlands and the Midwest. This put Native Americans in a tough spot of being forced to choose a side. If they had to choose, most Natives probably would have wanted to see the French win, because France and England occupied the Americas in two very different ways. England set up colonies and cities. They wanted the Native Americans to conform to their way of life, eventually becoming subjects. There weren't many French colonies in the continental Americas. Instead, France concentrated on trade posts and were intertwined with a lot of trading with the natives. Both countries poured their entire economy in the war. However, England eventually prevailed. This victory gave England almost complete control over the mid and eastern northern America, including most assets in the Caribbean and Florida from Spain. French influence was also eliminated from India and English influence would continue to expand. They would go on to exploit India for hundreds of more years. The Native Americans also got the raw deal of the war. With French presence gone from the Americas, natives had little room to play the two rivals off each other when it came to commerce and territory negotiations. The natives were forced to flee Florida and former French territory and move deeper into the West, causing territory disputes amongst the various tribes. The King of England demanded that the governing representatives from various English colonies in America get together and meet with the Native American leadership to outline peace and territory agreements. Benjamin Franklin, who was amongst the ones chosen for this task, formally proposed a union of 12 of the colonies under the leadership of a single leader called the President General with the permission of the Crown be able to handle land disputes, commerce, and Native American relations. The Crown was suspicious that it sounded a lot like self-rule. The idea was quickly rejected. During the war, both France and England went broke trying to beat each other. After the war, France was in financial ruin that would lead to the French Revolution years later. England doubled its national debt and opted to have its colonies pay back the debt with new taxes. England believed, since the colonies gained the most from the war, that they should bear the blunt of the cost. This would plant the seed of rebellion, and in a few short years, the colonies would declare themselves an independent nation. And that's how history happened. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to shop History Happened and subscribe.